Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the December 2018 update for Adobe XD. So in this update, Adobe XD has introduced cloud documents. And with this, we have a number of things we can do. First off, we have auto saving. And this is going to allow you to save your project if your computer were to crash. Uh, so first off, what you have to do is you have to choose to save this as a cloud document. And I'll just name this as project and select save. So once that's done saving, if I were to then start editing this document, adding elements on the screen, and my computer were to crash right now, I would be able to return back to this state. Also here in the home screen, you can now see the cloud documents. Here we have that project that I was just working on. It's unsaved with these two new rectangles added, but you can see they're already there. So that's auto saving for me. And I can also take a look at the shared documents if someone has shared one with me. So with the introduction of the cloud documents, now we can work from anywhere and we can quickly access all of our documents on the go. And we also have faster sharing with the cloud documents. Now we can share our documents with our team members and collaborate with them when we save our files as cloud documents. So if you're familiar with Adobe XD, we've always had the share button up here. Now it's an actual button. And when we select that, we now have share document, share for review, share for developers, manage links and record video. So now we have more options to share our project here under this drop down. Another thing to mention here in the cloud documents under the home screen, you can check these and then select them to delete them if you no longer want them to be in the cloud. Now we can search for layers in the layers panel. So here on the left, I can type in dark screen and you can see that I have this folder and it will highlight it on the page for me. So down here, I have my dark screen that I wanted to find. I can also search via element, so I can hit the drop down, and you'll see that we have our recent searches stored here. We can delete those if we'd like, and we can also filter via image, shapes, or text. So if I want to find only the text layers, I can now see all of them here on the screen and work with them how I would like. Another new feature we have is the object flip, so if I select this grouping. I now have these two options in the property inspector. I can flip them horizontally or vertically by simply clicking on them. We now have linked symbol updates and this allows us to preview the design changes to a linked symbol in your canvas. So here I have a symbol that is a linked symbol. It's called symbol one. I'm going to switch over to that document. So here in this document, if I make a change to the symbol, so I'm going to double click and I'm just going to drag the circle quite a bit of ways over. And if I head back to the original document, you'll notice that it shows us that we can update. There's also a blue dot on the assets icon if you have the assets panel closed. That way you can know that you have an update. And if we hover over this blue icon on that symbol, we get a preview in our document of what that change is. So we can make sure we want to make it. In this case, I'm gonna select update all. And the final two things, we have improved mobile viewing. Now you can view your prototypes on mobile in full screen view, and it's easier to navigate between artboards using the previous, next, and home buttons. So better viewing on mobile. And then finally, we have import control improvements, and this is from Illustrator and Photoshop. Now we get full editing control when you convert a smart object in Photoshop and Illustrator to a fully editable element in Adobe XD, just using file import or file open. So that wraps up all the new features in the December 2018 update for Adobe XD. Before I go, I want to cover the future updates to the cloud documents in XD. So these four features we can expect sometime in the near future. First off, we have faster sharing. This is going to enable near instant creation of designs and prototypes for view or development. Next, we have live collaboration. So we can have multiple people working on a document at one time, which is crazy. And then we have versioning. This one I really like. So no longer do we have to save manually different versions of the document. The cloud documents will do that for us with a milestone version that we can quickly access right within Adobe XD. And finally, design systems, which I think this one's pretty cool as well. Uh, with the cloud documents and creative cloud libraries, you'll have everything you need to create and manage robust design systems for use with your team or organization. So those are four really cool features that come alongside with the cloud documents here in the future. So I'm pretty excited for those. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of the newest update and also these future updates for the cloud documents here in Adobe XD. That was it for December 2018. That is the last update for this year. I look forward to all of the new updates from Adobe in 2019. 
That's it for me, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more design-related content. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.